Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a look inspired by the fabulous JLo. And she wore this look to the Fashion Rock Show. So if you guys want to see how I recreate this look, then please keep watching. Also, if you want to see more videos, subscribe, hit the like button, and you can also find me on Instagram at Lolita Latina 7 See you. Okay, so we're starting off priming our face with a Smashbox primer. And we're gonna put that all over our face to cover our imperfections and pores. I never miss this step because I have a lot of acne scarring and this is an essential step to my everyday makeup. Then we're gonna go ahead and do our eyebrows. I'm using the Tarte Amazonian Clay and Medium Brown and a Soho brush. Just combing my eyebrows with a spoolie end and then I'm gonna start to fill in the brow. Very light strokes. Go ahead and do the other side. Make sure they look even. I'm gonna go ahead and use the MAC Paint Pot and Painterly for the base to our shadow. I'm gonna put that all over my lid. And the brush I'm using is a, a concealer brush from Sonia Kashuk. Take the color Soft Brown from MAC on a Sigma brush. And we're gonna use that as our transition color. taking a Sonia Kasha brush, blending brush. It's clean. We're just gonna make sure everything is blended out. I'm using L'Oreal's Hip Studio Secrets Professional. And the colors are charged. It's the number 910. I'm using a MAC 217 brush and I'm using the bronze coppery color first. We're applying that in the crease. And I'm using a Sigma flat brush and I'm using the color cranberry. 
and we're going to put that on our lid. Now we're going to do the same thing to the other eye. take the L'Oreal Studio again and this time we're going to use the orange burgundy color and we're going to put that on our outer V. And kind of blend everything together. Now we're gonna take that clean uh, Sonia Kashuk blending brush and make sure there's no hard edges and we're just gonna clean everything up. Now we're gonna take a Sigma pencil brush with the color Cranberry and we're gonna put that on our lash line, smoke it out. And apparently I'm jamming out to a song. well I'm gonna take the color sketch from Mac on the 217 Mac brush and we're gonna darken up the outer V doing the same thing to the other eye, putting it in the outer V, the 217. We're taking the Sonia Kashuk brush and just making sure that everything is well blended. And we're taking the Sigma brush and a blending brush and we're doing the same thing. Now we're taking a makeup remover wipe and cleaning out our edges, making sure there's no fallout left. Now I'm using the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation. I am a number 54 medium. I'm dotting it all over my face. I use one pump, it's seriously enough for your whole face and honestly it's the best foundation that I have ever used, like hands down. Like it covers, you know, like my acne scars and the reddish <clears throat> from it. I, I love it. I love all her makeup actually. So you need to, you need to try that in your life. I'm using a Real Techniques brush and just buffing it out all over my face. And just making sure that my eyebrows were not touched and making sure they're basically on fleek, you know what I'm saying? Can't be going out with busted eyebrows. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this uh, blush, it's called Sculpt by MAC, and I actually use it to contour. 
and I'm using a Sonic Castro brush and creating contour and apparently cheekbones that I do not have a need. And I'm taking a Real Techniques brush and just blending it out, making sure there's no harsh lines. Putting it on my hairline and my temples. Adding some color and a little bit of the de definition to my face. And doing that as well to my neck to make sure I look skinty or my face. Now I'm taking Max uh, Mineralize Skin Finish in Give Me Sun and I'm using that as my bronzer. Putting it on the sides of my cheeks, my forehead, and my temples, my jawline. Now I'm taking Pro Longwear Concealer in NC30. And um, what I hate about this concealer is that when you try to put a little pump, a lot comes out. And I really, it's so irritating because I don't use that much. Like, I have to be very careful. I'm dotting it all um, over my face as well to highlight. The bridge of my nose, under my eyes, my cupid's bow, my chin. And by my forehead and the sides of my jawline as well. And I'm taking an e.l.f. Duo Fiber Brush and just kind of stippling it in and then I'm taking my finger warming up the product and just dabbing it around making a triangle and now I'm gonna blend it in then baby hairs are they begin on my nerves set my highlight with Ben Nye's Banana Powder using the same duo fiber brush just putting it under my eyes setting my forehead bridge of my nose, my chin the jawline making sure it's set Now I'm going to use Max Ripe for Love and it was limited edition and I'm using a Morphe brush, the Corin Sander collection and this brush, I mean this blush is everything. Um, trying to think maybe like Spring Sheen could be similar but I really wish that they would make it a permanent blush because I mean it's amazing. It goes pretty much with everything. But um, I'm putting it on my, on the side of my cheeks. Um, I do have a round face, so I have to make sure that I don't make it look rounder. If I put it on the apples of my cheeks, then I'll look my face will look more round. So I put it on the sides. I took a Sigma Duo Fiber Brush and make sure that everything was blended together. And now I'm taking the NYX Liquid Illuminator and a Corin Sander Brush. And I'm going to lightly dab it onto the top of my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, for that amazing J.Lo highlight. So basically I can glow in the dark. Taking it on the top of my eyebrows just for a little bit of a highlight. And that alone actually looks really nice. I'm going to take a Sigma, I don't know the name of the brush, but I'm taking Sculpt again and I'm going to contour my nose. I'm 
taking a Sedona lace brush to blend out that little contour so there's no harsh lines. And I also put a little bit in the middle of my cupid's bow and on the bottom of my lip to make my lip stand out or make it seem a little bit bigger. Now I'm taking a makeup remover and making uh, sure that my lips are nice and clean for the lips, for the lipstick. And I'm using Max Boldly Bare Lip Pencil. Now I'm taking the Wet n Wild Fergie Lipstick in Fergie Daily A033. And this is the perfect nude. I love this color. Now I'm adding a bit of Bite Beauty's Rambutan Lip Gloss. It is the perfect nude. Now I'm using the Lorac Pro 2 and I'm taking the color Snow and putting it in my tear duct. Now I'm using highlighter Soft and Gentle with a Sonia Kashuk brush. Putting on my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, and my cupid's bow. Now I'm gonna put on some mascara. This is the Dior mascara. I'm not really fond of it. It doesn't like really do much for me, but that was the one that I was trying out at the moment, so. Now I'm going to take Red Cherry's 43 Lashes and the Duo Glue in Black or Dark. Now I'm trying to dry it. And I actually hate using that duo lash glue. I prefer using the clear Ardell one. It, it just makes it much easier, less of a mess. And it makes your lashes last longer as well. Now I am taking Max Teddy eyeliner and putting it on my waterline. And I'm just taking the pencil brush and just making sure that I didn't mess up any of the eyeshadow while I was popping on the eyelashes. I'm taking my duo fiber brush and making sure that everything is well blended. And that is the finished look. I hope you guys liked it. Holler at you guys until the next video.